everyone let's solve the question from uh, differential equation so we have to solve this differential equation using variation of parameters so how to solve this uh, let's first discuss what is the concept of variation of parameters so the concept of variation of parameters so the format of uh, questions which you will get will always be of this form a d2y by dx square plus b dy by dx plus cy equals to x where x is some function of x so first step you have to do is to find the complementary fact, uh, function which will be of the form a y1 plus b y2 second step is to find your uh, particular integral which will be of the form u y1 plus v y2 now how to find u and v that is also important so your u is integral minus y2 x divided by uh, u1 as it is derivative of u2 so u2 dash minus u2 as it is derivative of u1 which is u1 dash same denominator will be for v also so u1 u2 dash minus u1 dash u2 and in numerator you will have y1 and same x and integration will be with respect to x your final solution as always is y equals to cf plus your pi so this is the basic uh, building block for this type of question so let's move ahead i can write this as d2 plus 1 operating on y equals to 10x so if you want to find the complementary function the first step is to find auxiliary equation for that replace this d by m so m square plus 1 equated to 0 so m square equals to minus 1 so m is plus minus iota i can write this separately as m1 is 0 plus iota and m2 is 0 minus iota so this is clearly of the format a plus iota b and this is of the form a minus iota b so in this type of case the complementary function is e power ax c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx this is the basic format now <clears throat> so my complementary function will be e power a is 0 so e power 0x c1 cos x plus c2 sin x because b is 1 e power 0 x is 1 so cf will be c1 cos x plus c2 sin x now as you know that uh, if you compare with this your uh, y1 and y2 is your y1 is cos x y2 is sin x and x which is in RHS is tan x. So we can move ahead with our particular integral uh, but for that we need u and v so u is minus y2 into x divided by y1 as it is so cos x as it is derivative of sin x which is cos x minus y2 as it is that means sin x as it is derivative of y1 so derivative of cos x is minus sin x so as you can see in denominator you are getting cos square x plus sin square x so that is one so u is basically now tan is sin by cos so you are getting sin square x divided by cos x sin square x i can write as 1 minus cos square x divided by cos x so i am getting minus of secant x dx and plus integral cos x dx 
सो दिस विल बी माइनस लॉग सिकेंड एक्स प्लस टेन एक्स एंड इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस एक्स इज सिंपली साइन एक्स प्लस कॉन्स्टेंट सी यू ऑल नो दैट विल बी देयर एज आई हैव डन द इंटीग्रेशन बट दैट विल बी मैनेज्ड इन द लास्ट सो यू वी हैव गॉट कमिंग टू वी विच विल बी वाई वन एक्स सो वट इज योर वाई वन वाई वन इज कॉस एक्स एक्स इज टेन एक्स विच इज साइन एक्स बाई कॉस एक्स एंड डिनोमिनेटर अपॉन सॉल्विंग यू ऑलवेज नो दैट इज गोइंग टू कम आउट टू बी वन बिकॉज कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस साइन स्क्वायर एक्स सो डिवाइडेड बाई वन सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन एक्स इज सिंपली माइनस कॉस एक्स ओके नाउ You have got you have got u you have got v, so your particular integral will be. Uh, what is your particular integral? U y one plus v y two. U y one. Uh, what is your u? U is this. This multiplied by y one, which is cos x. So minus log secant x plus tan x. Minus log secant x plus tan x and plus sin x multiplied by cos x and then we had v y two so minus cos x into sin x so minus cos x into sin x so as you can see uh, sin x cos x is here. With a positive sign, sin x cos x with negative sign, so they will cancel each other. So finally, you are getting your particular integral as minus cos x into log secant x plus tan x. And what will be your final solution? Your final solution will be C f plus P i. So what was your C f? It was C one cos x. Plus c two sin x plus your p i, which is coming out to be cos x into log secant x plus tan x. So this is it. Uh, I had already discussed the concept earlier, and now uh, the problem was easy: auxiliary equation, then complementary function, then the value of u and v, then the particular integral, and finally the Final answer is y equals to c f plus p i. So I hope you understood this question uh, beautifully. Uh, we'll see you with some more question of this type. Thanks and have a very nice day till then.